Namaste and welcome to another session of Yoga with Adrian. Except that today we're going to do a lot more workout. It's going to be a body blast class uh, instead of our regular yoga session. So we're going to be uh, needing some props for today. So what you will need is a large, uh, if you have it, a 5 litre uh, tub of water. If not, then whatever heavy stuff that you can find. And of course, if you have a mat, uh, go ahead and use it. And uh, if you feel that uh, you, it's going to be hard on your feet because we will have uh, fairly, uh, some impact in some of the moves, do feel free to wear your indoor shoes as well. And as always, uh, do leave a comment below if you'd like to see me come up with some uh, workouts that you would like to do at home. And do remember to subscribe to keep updated as we keep releasing new classes. And let's get started! So from here, let's just give an easy rotation to the neck. So just gentle rotation, just up and down, alternating the sides. Just big neck circles, two more rounds, one more round. And from here, let's just warm up our shoulders with big arm swings. So just swing the arms forwards as big a circle as you can, just to loosen the shoulders up, get the circulation moving. From here, let's reverse, swinging the arms forwards now. Now from here, just swing the body side to side. So we're rotating the body from the waist just to get some warmth into the spine. Just a few more rounds. And from here, let's come down to the mat into an all four position. So we're going to uh, begin with a few rounds on cat toes just to warm the shoulders and the abdominals up. So in all four position, with the uh, toes tucked in, now looking forward, as we inhale, we're going to extend the right hand out, extend the left leg back. Now, as we exhale, we bring the elbow to the knee. So it's right elbow to left knee. From here, let's do another nine more rounds. Inhale and exhale, curl in, tuck the chin in. Inhale, extend, exhale, curl in. So as we curl the stomach in, Touch the elbow to the knee. Five more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Tuck the chin in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Last two. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Last one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. And come down back to all four. Let's switch to the opposite side. From here, left hand up, right leg back. And as we exhale, curl the stomach in, push the shoulders up, elbow to the knee. Let's do nine more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last six. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Elbow to knee. Last four. Looking forwards. Elbow to knee, inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee, last two, inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee, and from here, return back to all four position, and push back into a nice child's pose, stretching the shoulders out, stretching the lower back, two more breaths. One more breath from here, inhale, come back to all four position. Now, from the all four position, push back into a nice 
downward facing dog, stretching the shoulders up. And we're pushing our chest towards our toes. We're gazing at our toes, pushing the hip up to the sky, just to build some warmth into the shoulders. And then trying to reach our heels to the ground. Two on deep breath. One more breath. Now from here, we're going to lift the right leg up, three leg downward dog, and we're going to come down into a single arm chaturanga, touching our right knee to the right tricep. So let's begin. So we're going to do five rounds on the right, five rounds on the left, and then we repeat for three sets. Let's begin. From here, inhale, come forward into a chaturanga, resting the right knee on the right tricep, push back into a tree leg downward dog, four more, inhale, come forward, exhale, go back, three more, inhale, come forward, exhale, go back, two more, inhale, come forward, exhale, go back, last one, inhale, come forward, exhale, go back, and from here, change leg, left leg up, tree leg downward dog, now inhale, come forward, exhale, go back, four more, inhale, come forward, exhale, go back, three more, inhale, come forward, exhale, go back, last two, inhale, come forward, exhale, go back, last one, inhale, come forward, and exhale, go back, left foot down, okay, switch right. Now, from here, right leg up, let's reach forward, five rounds, and back, inhale, forward, and back, last three, inhale, forward, and back, last two, inhale, forward, and back, last one, inhale, forward, and back, and switch leg, left leg up, three leg downward dog, now come forward, chaturanga, knee to tricep or elbow, and keep going, last three, inhale forward, exhale go back, last two, inhale forward, exhale go back, last one, inhale forward, exhale go back, and change leg, right leg, okay, from here, right leg up, Inhale forward and back. Inhale forward. Exhale, go back. Three more. Inhale forward. Exhale, go back. Last two. Inhale forward. Exhale, go back. Last one. Inhale forward. Exhale, go back. Switch leg. Left leg up. And from here, inhale forward. Exhale, go back. Four more, inhale forward, elbow to the tricep. I mean, knee to tricep. Let's keep going, last two. Arms are burning. Last one. And from here, touch, go back, foot down, knee down, and let's roll back into a well-deserved child's pose. Stretching the shoulders up. Now, from here, let's come up into a standing position. So we warm our shoulders and our abdominals up. And let's come to the front of the mat. And we begin with a lunges, warming our legs up. Now, make sure that in lunges, we're always standing with the feet hip width apart, the toes pointing straight. Maintaining this distance in the hip, we're going to keep our spine upright, hands on the hips, and we begin with the right leg one big step back and we're going to slowly squeeze the thighs in lower the knee down to the ground lightly making sure we're not banging the knee down so if you need to you can place a soft towel or a block from here extend back straight step back forwards into a nice chair pose and let's do either side and we're alternating so 10 right 10 left is one set we will do two sets and then left leg back, 
So remember, squeeze the thighs in, lower down, straighten, step back forward, and straighten the body. Now let's do nine more on each side. Let's go. Right leg back, lower down, straighten, step forward, left leg back, lower, up, straighten, right leg, down, up, step, left leg, down, up, step, right, down, up, step, left, down, right, step, right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, four more, right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, last one, right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, and let's take a short break here, so shake out the, your legs, make sure you get circulation in, take a deep breath, recover your energy, and let's get ready for our round two. Now let's do round two, from here, right leg back, down, squeeze the thighs in, step straight forward, left leg, slowly drop the knee down, step forward, right leg back, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, almost there, right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, last five, right, slowly lower the knee down, remember, always be light on the knee, if you need to, place a soft towel, making sure to squeeze the thighs in to maintain the balance, and always keep the spine upright, making sure not to lean forward. And while I'm distracting you with my talking, we're almost there. And last one. Right, down, up, step, left, down, up, step, and shake your legs up. How was it for you? And now that was the Warm up for the legs. Now let's get ready for the full workout for our legs. From here, we're going to do clean and press with our weighted bottle. So you can use a, like this is a 5 liter. You can use something lighter if you're just beginning. Or if you feel it's not enough challenge, feel free to take a heavier weight. Whatever we'll do. And let's begin with the technique. So what we're going to do is a clean and press. So we will start with the weight right in front of you. Making sure to open up your feet slightly wider than your shoulders. The toes pointing out slightly. Just slightly will do. Making sure that the knees are always soft and knees are in line with the feet. From here, we're going to do a deep knee bend and hold the weight at the bottom. Now, as we come up, we look forward, bring the weight close to the chest, and from here, let's extend the weight out all the way to the top over the head. Now, as we lower, slowly lower to the chest, start bending, moving with the weight, and we can drop the weight down. Okay, let's do that again. From here, inhale, stretch up, and exhale, Push the hip back and drop. So now, let me show you from the side. We're going to do a deep knee bend. Pushing the hip back, chest facing forwards, holding the weight. Now, I'm going to bring the weight close to the chest. Pushing the weight up over my head. 
And from here, as I lower down, I start bending my knee, still keeping my spine straight, chest forwards, lowering the weight straight down. So the weight's always close to your body and chest. Now, from here, let's begin with three rounds of 10 repetitions each, okay? Looking forward, chest forwards, bend down, grab your weight, now inhale, up. Exhale, down, inhale, up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, last six. Inhale up, squeeze the thighs. So remember, weight close to the body. So don't lean too far forwards. The back is always upright, but always looking to the front. Strong through the shoulders, last three. Last two, keep going, last one, and from here, place your weight down, and slowly shake your arms and legs up. Catch your breath. Now, from here, let's get ready for set two. Okay, so making sure to set your, reset your feet, making sure it's just pointing out slightly to the side, not too far, just slightly, and they are slightly wider than your shoulders. From here, exhale down, grab your weight, inhale up, that's one, and two, and three, and four. Four. Exhale to go down. Inhale to go up. Exhale to go down. Inhale up. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. And carefully deep knee bend. Place the weight down and shake on the arms, shake on the legs. Catch your breath for our final round. From here, let's get ready for round three. Okay, so reset your feet. Making sure spine is upright. Deep knee bend, grab your weight. Looking forwards, chest forwards. Now inhale and up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Eight more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, last six, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, last four, keep going, strong through the thighs. So as you stand up, make sure you push it hard through your legs. Last two. And last one. And down, and shake it out, shake the legs out. How was that? Was that a good workout? So. If you want to do more sets of this, this is a really, really good full body workout. Just pause the video at this point and do as many sets as you want and then you can come back and join. And I hope you got some loud energetic music in the background to keep you going. And now we're going to do um, a few rounds of burpees. So let's go through the technique first. Now, so we want to begin and end with our feet hip width apart, toes pointing as straight forward as you can. Now, from here, in a standing position, I am going to reach down. Okay, so it's going to be a deep knee bend. Place our palms on the ground, shoulder slightly wider than the shoulder level. Now, from here, you want to jump back into a nice high plank position. And then we're going to do a push-up. So chest forwards, core strong, gaze forwards, push up again, and we're going to jump in as we straighten. So we're going to lift our heels off the ground, so we jump up. Okay, let's do that a little quicker. From here, down, jump back, push up, jump forwards, jump up. Okay, so are you ready? Now let's do 10 of these. Standing position, from here, deep knee bend, palms down, jump back, push up, jump forwards, jump up, down, 
push up, jump forward and up, eight more, down, push up, jump forward, up, down, forward, up, down, push up, forward, up, last four, down, jump back, push up, jump forward, down, push up, forward, up, last two, down, push up, forward, up, last one, down, forward, and up, and shake your arms, shake your legs up, and let's get ready for one more round of this. Alright, welcome back. Now, round two of our burpees. So make sure that uh, if you need to, just pause the video and do the movement slowly if you have trouble catching the rhythm. Uh, it's the most important to really get this movement correct rather than simply jumping because it's very easy to hurt the back or the, or the ankles or your toes. So always be very careful with this movement. Okay, so from here, come back into a nice standing position. Remember, we want to start by pushing the hips back, deep knee back, palms on the ground. Jump back into a nice high plank. Lower down, push up. Jump back, jump up. Let's do nine more, down. Jump back, push up, forward. Up, eight more. Down, forward, up, down. Jump back, forward, up. Six more, down. Jump back, forward, and up. Down, jump back, push up, forward, up. Last four, almost there. Keep going. Last two. Jump forward and up. Last one. Jump back. Push up. Jump forward and up. And good job, everyone. And now we come to our final workout of the day. Uh, we're going to do handstand push-ups. So not too deep, just a simple one to work out with the core. Now, if you have trouble trying to do a handstand push-up, just feel free to uh, hold in handstand position. That will also give your shoulders a very strong workout. So let's begin. So first of all, place your mic close to the wall. Now from here, we're going to just come to an all four position. The hands are going to be shoulder width apart, palms firm. So always keep the arms fully extended. From here, we come into a nice downward facing dog. Walk, walk, walk in until you come as close as you can and then you can either just go up to a handstand or just jump up and then you can place your feet against the wall squeezing your thighs in for balance looking down to the ground, arms straight from here let's bend your elbows, drop as low as you can and push up let's do a few more down and up down and up. Let's do three more. Down and down and up and down and up. And then slowly drop one foot on the ground and then the other foot. Now from here, let's do one more round of that. Let's aim for six repetitions of our shoulder press. So remember if you have trouble bend, if you have trouble holding your balance while you're bending your elbows. Just hold in a handstand position against the wall for balance and slowly we will build our strength from there. Now let's continue one more round. So remember the palms, shoulder width apart, come up into a nice downward facing dog, walking the hip feet in as close as you can and then just kicking the legs up and from here squeeze the thighs together, look down to the ground and up. And up. And up. Three more. Remember, keep the thigh squeezed in. One more. And a bonus one. And from here, holding the core strong, slowly lower one foot at a time to slowly come up. And that's the end of our workout. Now let's get back down to the mat to stretch out our Reset our shoulder. Now from here, let's come back 
into a nice kneeling position, sitting on our heels. So we're pointing our toes back, sitting on our heels to stretch the front of our ankles because it did a lot of work today as well with all the burpees and stuff. And let's stretch out our shoulders. Uh, did a tremendous amount of work. So let's stretch our arm across the body so we don't want to press the arm in. We want to stretch like the left arm over to the right hand side. We're going to hold at the elbow bone and pull the arm across the chest. So in a kneeling position, so we can keep the back straight, pushing our chest towards our arm. We're pulling the arm across the body. Make sure that we're pulling on the elbow bone, not on your tricep, because that will hurt. And then of course, just deep breathing. And you feel a very nice, strong stretch at the shoulder blades. Two more breaths. One more breath. Now from here, let's switch the right hand from the bottom over to the top. And we're still holding our elbow and pulling it down roughly 45 degrees. So we're stretching now the top part of our shoulder. So we're still dragging the arm across the chest, keeping our spine straight. Two more deep breaths. One more deep breath from here. Let's change our arms over to the right arm. Arm from the bottom, holding the elbow, pulling the arm across the chest, keeping the spine straight. So chest against the arm, and we're pulling the arm across the body. Two more breaths. One more breath. From here, we bring the bottom arm to the top, pulling down the arm 45 degrees. Remember, we're holding near the elbow so that we're not pulling against the flesh. And remember, we're pressing our chest against the arm. Two more deep breaths. Feeling a strong stretch in the shoulders. One more breath. And from here, let's stretch our wrists out. So I'll show you from the side. So we're still sitting back on our heels, stretching our arms forward. We're lifting our fingers towards our body. Make sure that the forearm is straight. We're gazing straight forward. Deep breathing here to let the whole body relax. Now from here, let's switch the palms downwards. So we're trying to pull the fingers towards the body, stretching the top part of our wrist tendons. Now from here, straighten up. We're going to wrap our fingers around our thumb, extending the arms straight, squeezing the arms, thumbs tightly, and rotating our wrist. So let's do a quick roll here, roughly about 10 rolls. And reverse direction. Getting the circulation back into the wrist, releasing all the tension and stress from our hard workout. And from here, let's come down to the mat and stretch out our legs and our hips. Now, just bending the knee, rolling down, we're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee, flexing the right foot in. From here, we're going to tread our arms through, hold the shin, pull the knees close to the chest, giving a nice deep stretch into our glutes and our thighs. Did a lot of work today, stretching out our lower back. Two more breath. One more breath. So of course, Whatever stretch that you like to hold longer, just feel, free, just feel free to pause the video and hold it longer. Now, releasing the hands, but keeping the legs, we're going to drop the knees over to the left hand side, bringing the knees close to the chest. We're going to press the left hand down on the right knee, rotating from the belly, get both shoulders on the ground, opening out the hand at shoulder level and looking at the right hand. At the same time, our left hand is pressing down on the right knee. So we're getting a nice deep stretch all along the lower back and your glutes all the way up to the side of your thighs. And relax deep breathing so that the whole body can slowly wind down after that really vigorous workout. So I hope you had a good workout. From here, inhale. Let's bring both knees back to center. And then we're going to change the crossing. So now the left ankle over the right knee, flexing the foot in to protect the knee ligaments. Tread the arms through, hold the shin. Pull the knees in towards the body. 
taking a deep breath to really relax the muscles so that you can really stretch them. Two more deep breath. One more breath. From here, release the hands, keeping the cross in the legs. Drop both knees down to the right hand side. Now we bring the knees higher, closer to the chest, using the right hand to press down on the left knee. Now open up the chest up to the sky, drop both shoulder blades on the ground and look over to the left hand. Remember to relax the body with every exhalation so that you can get a nice deep stretch through the glutes, a lot of work there today, and the legs and the lower back. Two more breath. One more breath. Now from here, release. Gently uncross the legs. Roll the whole body to the right hand side. From here, let's use the left hand to gently push ourselves back into a simple seated cross leg position. And let's take three deep breaths to really relax our body. After that, really good workout. So with your eyes closed, the spine straight, shoulders relaxed. Let's finish off with three deep breaths. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Second breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Final breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. So, thank you class. Hope you had a really good workout. Thank you for uh, being here with me again today. And I hope to see you again in our next video. So, thank you. Namaste and goodbye.